Good morning and welcome. Welcome to Nichols Retirement Empire. Today I'm gonna to try to make a fishing video. I want to catch some fish today. Let's do it together. <laughs> anyway, I'm crazy. I'm delirious. I haven't caught a fish in a while. Um, my last couple of trips I was trying for tarpon and one of them I, I, I found pogies I fished I just didn't catch no tarpon the other one I didn't find any and then I had a trip where my boat tore up and I had to get off the water had to get a couple of very kind-hearted good Samaritans sure enough for real good Samaritans uh, and if you guys ever watch one of my videos and you recognize me, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I didn't even have any cash to give them. Guys, if y'all ever see anybody out on the water with their motor sticking up in the air, stop and help them. Uh, I had two or three guys run past me and they may not have seen me or whatever, I don't know, but you should always help people out on the water. So, public service announcement. just had his own plan. Didn't match up with my plan, that's for sure. Looks like a trout. It is a trout, and as you can see, I lost my float, my old float that I've had for years. The shark got it. I mean, I think he actually got the float. That's not a bad little trout. So I had this one in there. I thought I'd try it. It's a little different. It's weighted a little different. And on the first cast, I caught a trout with it, so. Uh, lots of specks. Pretty. He's grunting. It's a male, so he's handsome. Handsome little fella. This is a lot different the way this float goes down. It's a lot more subtle. It floats. It's seems like it floats a little slower but I'm not so sure about that it's a good bit different than my other float I can't see it as good I know that oh, that's like a pretty decent one He's not. I mean, he is. I mean, he's decent. But he's not like what I thought decent was when he hit him. But he's a powerful little guy. Strong personality. Strong will. He's a strong will trout. Kind of like some of your children. Strong will. All right. Let's try it again. Poor little guys. Not grunting. He was not grunting. There's a hump behind me. That I'm fishing that's covered with oysters. The tide's going out. Going up over that hump. So I'm just letting this drift over the hump. Came off. These guys are getting smarter. 
which is not what we need. We don't need smarter fish. That's why I don't think they should be in schools. Dang it! Guys, that was a pretty good trout right there. Now. That's aggravating. If you want to aggravate me, that's how you do it. If I catch one here, I think it's going to be a pretty good one now that they're right here behind me. Ah, uh, and then look what happens. This guy intercepted it on the way to the big fish. It's the smallest one I've caught all day. My prediction was the biggest one. Well, I've been wrong before. I can be wrong. I mean, it's not normal, but it happens sometimes. Rarely. You know, really, I'm glad y'all got a, I'm glad y'all got a chance to see it because it's just, and it on video, you know, is the water's dropping current's running out and the, and the water is coming up and it's running this way on this hump to go around the hump and when you start getting a um, kind of a little current stream like that it concentrates the fish like they know where to sit where every where all the shrimp's going to run by them and stuff so if you can figure that out or see it like I can tell because of the way the float's going the float tells you where the fish are going to be. I do. There you go. A little bit better. than a croaker. <laughs> a little better than a croaker. It's a fish though. We're catching fish, guys. I've been wanting to catch some fish. After my last few trips, man, I'm ready for a little success. We put in a bilge pump. If y'all seen that video where I was sinking and I didn't have a bilge pump working and you were concerned, well, it works now. And I had to have that other work done on it. But you know, they do say that boat stands for bust out another thousand. If you want a boat, you need to be prepared to maintain it. making sure y'all were watching. Y'all need to be paying attention. Okay. Okay. Now the truth is sometimes I forget if the camera's working. So I have to make sure that I'm paying attention. Not you, me. Pay attention, Chris. You see there, sporty? Catching fish is kind of fun, man. I forgot what it was like. It's all right. This is all right. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Woo, he's out for recess. Get back in the classroom, buddy. Get sweaty out here at recess with the big boys. Nope. 
Okay. Say hey. Probably never see you again, but good luck in life. This water's already dropped two feet. And if I keep catching fish, I'll just sit here the whole time. I mean, I've run out a bunch of gas the last couple of trips. So that's money. Had to pay for my repairs. So I probably just need to take it easy. Don't run around. If I'm catching fish, don't leave fish to catch them somewhere else. See, y'all can tell my wife that I'm trying to be conservative. Okay, the current was slowing down. I wasn't catching fish on my other one, so I switched over now to my lighter half ounce float and half ounce weight. Since the water is slowing down, I can go with a lighter weight. And since this is lighter, I use a spinning rod instead of a bait casting rod. I don't need that heavy rod or heavy rod and reel because I don't have all that weight on there. Plus, as the water's getting shallower, this light weight and light float does a better job of going over the, the shallow water without getting hung up. He was a nice fish. He didn't act up. Stayed calm. So I think this is another one of those heat advisory days. It's been a being real hot, 98. Heat index is like 110, stuff like that. But that's summer in South Georgia. That's summer in Georgia, period. Where's my big trout? Are they ever going to get here? A touch better. A touch better. Still not a keeper really though. It's been more right in there and the croaker are over there. Okay. About like that last one. Touch better. These guys, man, they really just don't know how to act on a boat. I mean, there's an etiquette on a boat you gotta follow. And flopping around is not part of it. Getting me all slimy is not part of it. So if you ever get on anybody's boat, don't do that. Don't act like that, trout. This is a, oh, there we go.
lot of fun. Fun for you? <laughs> well, probably a little more fun for me. Mainly fun for me. But I'm the one that's here, so. There he goes. There you go. No. Thinking catfish slinging mud and poop everywhere. Bull crap. Then he tried to fend my foot. Well, after that catfish got blood all over the boat, I got it cleaned up finally. <sighs> what a mess that guy made. He wasn't worth it. And he broke my line. Had to retie my hook. He took a lot of time out of my day. Fish. First one of those today, little guy. Little trout. It's been a pretty productive spot, guys. It's nice to go somewhere, put your trolling motor or your anchor down, and just sit there and catch fish. Not have to find them. Well, I did find them. They're right here. All right, guys, it's about 11 o'clock. I've caught plenty of fish, I had a good time. That's what I wanted to do today. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off all week. Uh, I will say, you know, them, them guys the other day, they may not have had the, the fanciest boat. They may not know a whole lot about fishing for all I know, but they know how to dug on, help somebody out when they need help. So, uh, appreciate it. And uh, I hope everybody out there that watches this does the same thing if you see somebody broke down. Now, sometimes you'll see people up on sandbars and you can't help them. <laughs> they'll be up in the mud and all that junk. That's one thing. When the tide comes up, they'll get free. But if they're, uh, if they're having motor trouble, you know, do the right thing, help them out. And I know everybody that watches this will. Thank y'all for watching and y'all have a good day. I had a good time today.